Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. Today's question is this, how do credit card issuers make money? Well, that's a fantastic question. We know they make a ton of money, but there's some confusion as to how they make money. So credit card issuers make money one of three ways, and in some cases they make it in three of three ways. First is fees. Um, many credit cards have annual fees ranging from as low as $49 a year, $79 a year, to well over $1,000 a year in some cases. Um, clearly, if you're paying an annual fee, that's going into the pocket of the credit card issuer. That's one of the ways that they make money. There are also other types of fees that are charged on credit card accounts, things like over limit fees. So if you have a credit limit on a credit card of, say, $1,000, but you swipe it and whatever that charge happens to be takes you over the credit limit, then you're going to get hit with a fee because of the over limit transaction. Um, a lot of credit cards also charge you balance transfer fees, so if you're ba transferring a balance onto that card from another card, you're generally going to have to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of 1-3% to in a balance transfer fee. Foreign transaction fees, and so if you're a U.S. citizen and you have a credit card issued by a U.S. bank and you go to another country and you use the card to charge goods and services, um, the conversion from that country's currency to US, the U.S. dollar there is generally a fee associated with that, and that's called a foreign transaction fee. There are a lot of other fees. If you read the fine print in your cardholder agreement, there's generally a list of all the fees and when they occur and what the amounts are. That, that's the bad news. The good news is, is that most fees are completely avoidable um, because they are generally punitive, meaning that they're punishing you for doing something they don't want you to do. A great example of that is a late fee. So if your bill is due on the 1st of the month and you don't send it in until the 25th of the, of the month, you're late, and they're going to hit you with a late fee. Late fees generally run between somewhere between thirty and uh, thirty and forty dollars. So that's one of the ways that they make money. But it's not the primary way they make money. The primary way they make money is interest, and interest is the fee that you pay for the privilege of borrowing money from a credit card issuer outside of the grace period. When you go and you swipe your credit card somewhere and you buy something and you incur charges, and now you have a balance that shows up on your statement that you get at the end of the month, you have a choice. You can either pay all of it, some of it, or a what's referred to as a minimum payment. And the minimum payment is usually a small fraction of the balance due, usually somewhere between one and 5%. If you choose to pay any amount less than the full amount by the due date, that's, that's fine because you've made some form of a payment so you're not considered late, but you're also doing something called revolving. You're carrying a balance of some amount from one month to the next month. And so what you've essentially done is you've borrowed that amount of money from the credit card issuer and you're going to have to pay interest in doing so. And that's not uncommon. You pay interest in auto loans, you pay interest in mortgages, you pay interest in student loans, you pay interest in pretty much every other type of credit transaction out there. So paying interest on a credit card is not unusual. What is unusual is the amount of interest. Interest on a credit card is generally going to be higher than any other interest rate you're going to pay on any other product uh, in the history of your borrowing experience. The average interest rate on a credit card, depending on who you believe, is somewhere around 15%. No one in their right mind is going to pay 15% on any other type of credit transaction, yet we gladly do so on credit card accounts. Um, Interest can pile up very, very quickly. Some interest rates are even in the mid to high 20s. So you can see that it's a very significant cost for you carrying the balance, and that cost goes right back to the credit card issuer. That's another way they make money. The last way, and this is very minor, it's, it, it, it's a fee called interchange. And if you've never heard of interchange, it's probably not a big deal because you don't pay it. Um, interchange is a fee that is charged to the merchant where you shop. If you were to take your card and you go swipe it somewhere at a store and buy you know, a pair of shoes, the store has to pay the credit card issuer for the privilege of accepting that card and taking payment via that card. And when, this, when the card is swiped, a percentage of the amount is then charged back to the merchant, merchant in the form of interchange. It's called an interchange fee and some people refer to it as a swipe fee. You don't pay it, it doesn't show up on your bill. It's probably, it's probably sunk somehow or fully loaded into the product that you're buying. So at the end of the day, you are paying it, but it doesn't show up as a line item on your receipt. So those are the three ways that credit card issuers make money. Fees, interest, and interchange. If you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for your time. 
Have a great day.